Welcome to Audacity Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn the final step of using Audacity software, which is exporting audio files. As you know, Audacity is a free online software that you can download to your computer to record audio through a microphone. Audacity allows you to import sound files, edit them, and combine them with other files or new recordings. So let's go ahead and launch Audacity file, and here I already imported an audio file to use an example in this tutorial. So I have my audio track already set in the project. And make sure your project is always saved. So the last step in audio production with Audacity is exporting your file. To export, click on the file menu and then select export or export selection. The export selection choice will export only highlighted portions of your audio. So for example, if I highlighted this section by clicking and dragging, and then I go file and export selection, that means only this portion of my selection will be highlighted. But in this case, I want just to export the whole thing, so I'll click export. In the save dialog, you will have the option to pick the audio format and set additional options based on the format. For the format, it is recommended that you choose MP3 if your intention is to put the audio up on the web. If you need an uncompressed copy, say for a presentation, and the size of the audio file doesn't matter, then it's recommended to choose the WAV if you're a PC user and AIFF for Mac users. Unless there is a specific need, you shouldn't have to select other formats. So we'll go with MP3 files for now. After choosing MP3, click the Options button to view additional options. Options will only be clickable if you select format that has additional options. For the bitrate mode, choose Constant, which will produce the best quality. You can think of bitrates as the resolution of the audio. The higher it is, the crisper and cleaner the sound will be. Bitrates that are too low will have a metallic sound to them. The standard CD quality is 128 kilobyte per second, which is generally recommended. For the channel mode, you will have the option to, to choose joint stereo or simply stereo. If you have a stereo project, it is recommended that you choose joint stereo, unless you specifically need both channels to be separate. That's it, you're done. You can click save. This dialog box will ask you to type in some metadata in what is called an ID3 tag. Filling this information is completely optional. So we'll just click OK for now. Finally, note important fact that longer files can take a while to export. Most of the time, you can expect the export to take anywhere from half to the full length of the audio to process. So just to show you now, I saved my recording on the desktop. And there it is here, saved as MP3 format. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope it gave you a clear idea of how to export your audio file using Audacity software.